Hi there. I'm Rob Appel, official maker of fun at Making It Fun on YouTube, and I'm really excited that you're here to join me today for a story time video about why do I make stuff? And it's a pretty cool story, so stick with me till the end, uh, and I'll show you a couple quilts. Yeah, so I've just never, never actually been able to sit still. I just can't stop moving. I used to shake the desk in front of me in high school. I'd get detention for that. Um, I used to draw on everything, uh, including my clothing and my body. And yeah, I really struggle with uh, trying to keep my mind quiet. I, I didn't realize it bothered me so much. Yeah, I really, I, I wish you all thought that every day was a beautiful day for me, uh, but let's be real. I mean, every day is not a beautiful day for anybody. Uh, as a recovering alcoholic, I, I do, I struggle with depression. Um, I don't know which came first, however, if it was the depression and I started drinking or the drinking that led to depression. Nine years ago, I realized that drinking wasn't good for me. Uh, it was making me more depressed. I struggled. I fought with it for years to give it up. But yeah, finally, nine years ago this month, I stopped drinking, took my last drink, and boy, things have really improved in my life. Um, as I grew up, I grew older, I learned that I had to have movement in my life each and every day. So I really do, after I finish a quick cup of coffee and a little read through my Bible, I love to get outside and if nothing else, just walk my little dog Winston for his quick little potty break around the golf course. I'm so incredibly blessed to live in a beautiful, beautiful area. I'm in Morro Bay, California. <music> So spending some time outside every morning is super important to me, whether it's just walking Winston, my little dog, or coming on a hike up here to Black Hill, which is literally just a few steps out my door to the trailhead. And then I can do about a three to five mile loop if I like to. And then of course the best part is, is when I get up here, I can check the surf in both Morro Bay and in Los Oso. So if I'm not surfing, I'm hiking. And if I'm not hiking, I'm surfing. Ooh, yes. And when I am surfing somewhere along the sand spit all the way out there to Morro Rock, great, great area. Now it's a little small today, but anytime you get outside, get the fresh air, get some movement, take a walk, take a hike, you know, it's great for the mind, great for the soul. Well, it doesn't take much to make us surfers happy, so I'll jump in before work this morning a little bit, uh, see if I can catch up with some of my buddies out there. See you back in the studio real soon. I think one of the hardest times in my life was when I was trying to first work as a quilt maker while I wasn't drinking. Those first several months were incredibly challenging because I enjoyed drinking and making quilts and I hadn't had to reinvent myself and uh, it, it was a challenge. It was, it was a real challenge. It happened in this room right here. Learning to do other artwork, uh, such as knitting, uh, I learned that a few years ago. I've really gotten into woodworking, and that's really been fun. I just recently reorganized my garage. I got some new tools for Christmas, and I've been able to put together a really nice little maker space out there. I do a lot of wood turning. I've got a lathe, I do ice cream scoopers, and uh, seam rippers, and stilettos, pens and pencils, and. Uh, then again, a lot of the woodworking, some of the stuff ends up on the set. I'm often making camera mounts and all kinds of different rigs for this, that, and the other. You know, it's uh, it's really fun. I am always fixing something for my kid. My daughter loves to decorate her room, so she's often asking me to make her a shelf or a pegboard or something like that. So, you know, trying to look at each and every creative project as an opportunity to learn something and to grow is uh, really fun. I love to make stuff. I always have. I just can't stop working with my hands. So yeah, landing here at Making It Fun has been uh, a 
huge blessing for so many reasons. Working out of my home studio is incredible. Being at my own pace is incredible. And um, being able to work in a creative realm night and day, it's really changed the, the way I'm able to function creatively. And boy, has it been fun. And we're back. Welcome to Making It Fun, everybody. Right, this is gonna be exciting. I'm gonna share with you a few of these quilts I was promising and show you some of these projects that I have really enjoyed putting together, not only for all of you, but for me and my heart and my soul as I am always recovering from my depression and my alcoholism. It's an ongoing process and so we have to have something we can constantly rely on and quilting for me is absolutely one of these things because there's so many different things we can do. So I want to show you this first quilt here. This is called the recovery quilt. I have a video for this. This was done by Material Girlfriends. This is Laura and Lisa. And this project here, if you look at it carefully, it's a simple X's and O's style quilt layout. But what was so fun in doing this particular project is the ladies have a psychology degree and we spent a long time talking to all of you about the color green. The soothing, calming effects of this fabulous color green. And this is why they chose this and this is why we worked within this and we made the videos about it. This project came out, I believe it was right around April, maybe it was May. Nonetheless, we were all feeling incredibly anxious about what was going on with COVID-19. So many of us were grounded. All of us makers and teachers, educators had no idea what we were going to do. We had no idea if we would be able to travel. We had events booked like crazy and we were going bananas internally. You should have heard all of the conversations. It was awful, if I may say. So, in the prep work process of this quilt, it was simple, half square triangles. I was just cutting and touching and looking and feeling and being around this fiber. And what I realized was I was calming down. I was settling down. I hadn't worked on a project at all with my hands during those first few weeks. We were in heavy computer work mode. We were trying to figure out how to work remotely and I had walked away from the creative making process. And so when I came back to that creative making process, that was when this message hit me right between the eyes for the final time and I took hold of it and I won't let go of it. Making stuff with my hands makes me feel complete each day. I have to do it. There's no other way around it. So working with projects like this might be the same fantastic blessing for all of you. Anyways, so I've got projects out there. This is the recovery quilt at the back end of the video. I'll have links for recovery quilt. Like I said, absolutely love this. Thanks again, Laura and Lisa. Another project I did, which was a kickoff project to show off our new Coco fabric line at Michael Miller Fabrics was this Coco Star. Now there was a lot of reasons I enjoyed making this quilt. Okay, I'm showing you this quilt because it's one of my favorite projects. I love the fabric and yes, I have a fantastic tutorial out for all of you for this project. And the next one I'm gonna show, which includes the use of my super 60 degree template set. So I'm showing the quilt because like I said, it was at a point in my life where I made another major connection on how I was going to continue to grow and heal and chase balance in my life. This project, Coco Fabric, we were just getting ready to launch when COVID started and I needed to create a video all about Coco and I had no supplies, nothing had been created. We didn't know if we were going to quilt market. And so I spent about 48 hours in my parents' neighbor's vineyard with a few bundles of our basic fabrics and my video camera. My goal was to film a video that looked like sunrise to sunset 
in a vineyard with all of the fantastic Michael Miller Basics fabrics. And please check it out. It's called the Basics Video. It, it was one of my first like fun video edit projects. Uh, it's got some shaky camera work. I, I'm just learning. I'm just learning. I'm just learning. And isn't that what this video is all about? So the Coco Star Quilt, it's seen in that video in a couple of different ways. It was created for that video. It was the only physical sample of the Coco we really had at that point. I had one fat quarter bundle. Super fun, super easy, easy, easy project. But this quilt taught me during that point about being uh, inventive. Uh, I remember I was on the phone with my mom, almost in tears. Mom, mom, I don't know what to do. I've got this huge project I've got to come up with and all I've got is a little bit of fabric and I don't know how I'm gonna convey this message I want to do. And I, I wanted it to be fresh and springy and she says, you know, Rob, there's a farmer's market that is still uh, allowed to happen outside. She says, you have to wear a mask. Uh, you should take some gloves. We don't know what's going on with COVID yet, but you can still go to this farmer's market. Maybe you could photograph the farmer's market and put the fabric and the quilt. And I, that's where the idea started and ended up in the vineyard. And my goodness, what a great project that was. Blending my love for being outside, my love for the fabrics and my love for cinematography. So anyways, Coco Star. And last but not least today, one of my super uh, fun favorite projects right now. It is from the Super 60 template. Is the Super 60 sampler. And now this one, I'm holding it sideways for you. This project is one of the ones that I launched at the beginning of the year. I worked hard to film it over a long series and it does feature my template set. And that was another project I was working through, the engineering, cutting plastics, marking out cardboard, and all of that to get the templates just right so that all of you could make these same shapes for yourself at home. And so that is kind of maybe the big story all the way through. I love to come up with an idea. I love to create a project, but then I want to be able to turn around and make it available to all of you. So then the engineering starts, the design starts all over again. How do we make this so it becomes mass producible for all of you? How can it be so that all of you can use our beautiful Michael Miller basics and create projects just like this? And so there becomes a whole new training process, a whole new creative process, a whole new making process that happens in my world. And so what I've really learned in the quilting as a presenter, it's great. I get the double dip. I make it once creatively for myself and then I make it another time for all of you so you can enjoy the content here at Making It Fun. You can enjoy the education. You can enjoy the learning and everything that is available to all of you. So let me just uh, close today by saying a uh, Super heartfelt thank you to all of you who have been here for the journey, who have supported me along the way. It's a wild ride and I'm super excited to be on it. I couldn't think of a better place for me to be. Nine years ago, I accidentally confessed on the stage in Arizona that I was a recovering alcoholic and I just hit my one year mark. And at the little luncheon after the trunk show, uh, they told me to never stop telling that story to, uh, to always be brave and to make sure everybody got to hear there was a bigger bigger side of what was going on. And so I just wanna say thank you for being here today. Thank you for all of you who have listened to this story over and over again and uh, who've sent me letters of encouragement, quilts, uh, wooden crosses, rocks with psalms carved into them, whatever it is. There's just an amazing, amazing community in this quilting world. And uh, you know, if you're not feeling the greatest today, um, maybe, Maybe I could encourage you to make something. Watch one of my silly videos. Maybe it'll put a smile on your face. Um, be active, be positive, be, be physical, do something. Get yourself back outside. Don't go back to bed. Um, make yourself do something. Uh, if you're feeling great, maybe, uh, maybe it's your day to find somebody that's in need. Maybe it's your day to make something with somebody, uh, not for you, but for them. You know, and just uh, remember, this is an incredible world. We are so fortunate to get to work in a creative way around textiles and uh, other forms of arts and crafts. Just want to say again, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me on my journey. And we will see you real soon with another fantastic video. Next one will be all about making quilts. Wow!
wow, you are still there. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. <laughs> I know, I get a little long-winded sometimes. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you check out a few of the other ones we've created. I think they're terrific. And of course, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the little bell to be notified. I don't want you to miss a moment of the fun. Stay safe and happy sewing.